another important point if you want to play in the style that that's what we're talking about in the style meaning in 30s style is the voicing of your chords um first of all i don't look at chords as shapes but we'll talk about that more later but even if we simplify it when you learn normally you learn these shapes uh, in jazz manouche nowadays gypsy jazz whatever you want to call it people use um certain certain voicings I feel without thinking about it, they just know that this is, th I play that without really, mm, why? So we avoid them. We, I mean, people that play the style. Um, you want to simplify, it's really beautiful to play minor. You don't have to do minor six all the time and you never want to do minor seven because it's not in the style of 1930s, not at all. Like, rarely in some cases, only if it's like two five to the one. But when I hear people play minor swing, and then it gives me the, the creeps. Uh, <laughs> just because it's out of style. If that's what you want to do, do it. Um, so yeah, major, major chord is beautiful. Six, it's true that the six is very in the style and you will hear Django doing it a lot and I use it a lot. You can put the finger here to put the bass or not, it's fine. All these chords are you can always um, diminish the chords. Diminish, I mean, you don't have to play all the notes in the chord. You don't want to add notes. That will be tension and you will do it in certain places. But if it's written G and there is already someone that plays rhythm, I can just do two notes, why not? As long as I don't add. So you want to think about the chords, not, not as shapes. But be able to see, okay, this is the shape, this is the common shape, but I know that this is the five, and this is the, the one, and this is the three, and this is the six, and always to be aware of that. And then you can choose only the notes that you want from it. And when you go to the next chord, you, you can see which notes are in common with the next chord, and then you can make, like in classical music, you, you can make the, the least amount of movement with your fingers or with your notes. <laughs> and it sounds more musical to me. So, like I said, major, great. Major six, great. Minor, great. Minor six, sure, but not obsessing about it, not always. Especially if I would have something like, uh, and then, beautiful, because we, we change the, kind of the point of gravity. Now, now it doesn't function as a two, that the two is like the five, but it, this is the point of gravity right now, so I will not do minor six, I will do clean minor. And when I do the E7, I will not do a nine, because we're playing clean minor, we're not playing a, If I play a nine, it's the same note that it's the six of the A minor. So again, clean notes, uh, clean chords, simple chords, triads, sounds beautiful. And when I play dominant seven, I do use this, but the truth is that it's less stylistic. This is the most common um, at the time, which you can see it's the same shape like the six. I just push the six to be a small seven. Um, not only that, that these kind of big chords are 